Hello everyone, this is Southern Bell Whisper. I hope you all are doing well today. I am doing a lot better than I was yesterday. I actually had to take a trip to the ER yesterday. I told you guys in the video I made yesterday that I was spider bit and there was a, an area that I was bit at that just got really aggravated and my leg, the upper part of my leg was turning red and I couldn't even walk on my leg. So yesterday about 3.30, I asked my dad to take me to the ER and it had gotten infected. So I am doing a lot better than I was yesterday. They hooked me up to an IV, gave me some IV antibiotics, um, you know, gave me about three different antibox to take at home. Um, it was just like a staph MRSA infection where it gotten so aggravated. Oh god, it was so painful. Like that hurt worse than my tattoo. So I woke up feeling a little bit better today and actually got some sleep last night, so good job. But today I got a soccer bit again. If you don't know what soccer bit is, it's like a candy, uh, Swedish candy company, and I've tried tried it on a couple of my videos. Um, sweet tips help get candy back to room temperature. Keep leftovers in any in an airtight container. Store store in a cool and dry place, but not in the fridge. I didn't like the bags they gave me this time. The last time it was like air sealed bags, but this one I have to find something that has a lid on it to keep them fresh. But I got the licorice again. I got a pound of this. I love licorice, especially black licorice. Sorry, I saw something. Maybe it's just my imagination. <laughs> I'm so self conscious about my nose sometimes. And then I also got something new, wrap candy. And we are going to be trying these. And I'm going to be tell you, uh, telling you what I've been reading uh, for, a no, for April and May. So let's try one of the wrap candies first. While I tell you about the first book that I read in April. Or middle of April. This has a lemon on it, so it must be lemon flavor. It says Fox. So let's try it. Looks like, like a taffy. I wanted to show you guys also the pictures or the stickers that I put on my Kindle. This is one of my favorites. It might become one of my tattoos in the future. It also says fluent in movie quotes. Don't let the hard days win. Hold on, let me overthink this. Little moon sticker that says every phase is a gift. You have Belle reading The Court of Mist and Fury. Colin and Penelope from season three of Bridgerton. I'm obsessed with them. And one that says, 
JC that Scholastic Book Fair High. Everybody knows how we felt when we went to Book Fair growing up. At least I did. Very sticky. <laughs> so, let me go into my red. Collection. I put every book that I've read in a certain collection. Okay, the first book that I read was The Tattooist of Auschwitz uh, by Heather Morris. They just released a show, I think it's on Peacock. And so I wanted to read the book before I watched the show. And I had such high hopes for this. What is on my cheek? Sorry. I had such high hopes for this book because I love any book that is set during World War II or during the Holocaust. And it was true. It's a true book. I just find it, I found it kind of boring and kind of repetitive. Like, I hate to say that. I know people uh, listening to this is probably like, well, it's a holocaust. It's horrible. You're not supposed to be saying it's boring. But it just... I gave it three stars. And I hate that. But it was just so repetitive. The ending was too rushed. Like you, you waited for five chapters. So it's about this couple. And God, I, I forgot the name of the man and the woman. Forgive me. Uh, I think her name was Cheeta, and I forgot his name, but he is a tattooist, he, uh, he's a prisoner, but he becomes a tattooist, which is the, pe uh, the people that tattoo the numbers on the Jews that come into the camps, and he ends up falling in love with one of the prisoners, and... Um, so that's pretty much the gist of the story, um, is that he falls in love with her and, you know, going through what they go, uh, what they go through and finding each other at the end, which I felt was very rushed. Like I was waiting for chapters, like, oh my gosh, are they ever going to find each other? Is she alive? Is he alive? And then you got to the chapter, and it was like, that's it? It was so rushed, and I hated that, that. Like, I wanted, to, I wanted to hear more. I wanted more. So I gave the Tattooist of Auschwitz a three of five stars. It was, I, like I said, I had such high hopes for this book. I did. And it was not my favorite. Unbroken was a hundred percent, a hundred times more better than this, this book was. And I wanted to like it so bad. Okay. So the next one, after that one, I finally read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um... It's pretty much about this girl. Her name is Monique. And she gets a job interviewing this um, Hollywood star that used to be like a starlet. Like one of the most popular actresses in her time to interview her. And get her life story pretty much for the, her magazine that she works for. And so she goes and she interviews Evelyn Hugo. And I loved it. I gave it four out of five stars. The only reason I didn't give it higher is they kind of ruined the story for me a little bit. I'm not... I'm not a homophobe, okay? I mean, I'm all for people loving whoever they want to love. Um, whether it be a man or a woman, 
I don't judge people, but I didn't like that part of the story too much. I mean, I didn't want to like it, but it was actually very romantic. And I was like, I really didn't want to like this, but I kind of do because how romantic it is. But it wasn't my favorite. I, there was a big plot twist in this book that had my jaw on the floor. I was like, what? Holy crap. And that really made the story for me, that big plot twist. I love a good plot twist. And it was, it was really good. It was actually set, I think, during the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And there was a lot of agriculture, um, like, you know, clothing and movies. And, uh, of course, it's fictionalized, but um, I like how they described everything. And I cried. You get uh, attached to some of the characters, and then something happens, and you're not ready for it. So, I gave it a 4 out of 5. It kept me interested. It kept me a lot more interested than Tattoo Us at Auschwitz. But that blonde was so... Whew. Okay, let's try another... Let's try one of the licorice. This one has like a little pink in it. So, is it like strawberry licorice? Let's see. Whew, that's salty. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. But it tames down the saltiness a little bit. It's a little bit sweet. Definitely not as chewy as the first one I had. Okay, so the Seven Husbands, Evelyn Hugo. I also read This Summer I Turned Pretty because I like the show a lot. And I'm so upset I had to wait for season three until next summer <laughs> but let me just say so I read this summer I turned pretty first I gave it three out of four stars because you know she's what 16 and it was just almost too young adult for me and I honestly loved the first season of the summer I turned pretty be better than the first book. Like, there was so much more in the show than there was in the book. If you don't know what this summer I turned pretty is, it's about this girl. Her name is Belly, and there's uh, she goes to this summer house. Her mom and, and, and her brother, Stephen, go to a summer house of their mom's best friend and her two sons. Her two sons are named uh, Conrad and Jeremiah. And the summer I turned pretty, like in the first season, uh, there was more confusion on Belly's part of which brother she loved better. But in the first book, it didn't mention it at all. And then I also read It's Not Summer Without You. Let's, let's try another of these wrap candies. I'm going to put this down for a second. You guys uh, put, be putting up, out some good vibes for my niece. Uh, she's looking at an apartment today. And I really hope she gets it. I don't like the place she's living right now. I worry about her all the time. So this says Mm. 
Almost tastes like a Three Musketeers. Oh, that's good. you guys I'm trying to eat better so I'll probably eat one more before this video ends so I'm also read it's not summer without you by Jenna Han Ch Jenny Han by the way and it happened again like it didn't even mention that she was confused between the two brothers until the very end of the book. This is one of the only instances where I actually liked the show better than the books. I also gave this one three out of four stars, or five stars. And then I'm going to try another licorice. This one is red and black as well. Um, we'll always have summer was the third book, and I read that one as well. Mm-hmm. Honestly, a lot happens in the third book, and in the end, another thing is it's brushed. Like, and she finally picks who she wants at the end, but it's so freaking rushed. And. One of my favorite characters ends up being an asshole. And I was just not a fan of what she did in the book. I don't want to ruin it for anybody, so that's why I'm like putting out clues a little bit. This one was my least favorite. Oh, the whole series. I gave it two stars. Because she was being stupid in this book. Like, I'm not going to say what happens, but she's being totally stupid. Okay, I'm going to try one more. So what do you guys think? I like wish or should I try another of these wrap candies? I don't want another taffy now, right now. It's just too sticky right now. Okay. This one says Coke on it. So, I guess it tastes like Coca-Cola. Let's see. Whoa. Mmm, mmm. This one almost tastes like a Junior Mint, if you've ever had a Junior Mint before. Oh, that's tasty. I definitely recommend Soccer Bit to anybody. Their candy is just so fresh. Okay.
I've also been reading the Bridgerton series because I wanted to get to the book about Colin and Penelope before part two came out. So I read the Duke, the Duke and I, which is about um, Simon and Daphne, their love story. It's by, who said by? Julia Quinn. <clears throat> Yeah, Julia Quinn. And another instance where I like the, the show better than the book. Like, I gave this three out of four stars. It was pretty good, but the, the show was so much better. I also read The Viscount Who Loved Me which is Anthony and Kate's story. No, I did not watch the second season of Bridgerton. I probably missed so much. But after I found out the main guy, Anthony, the actor was gay in real life, um, it kind of ruined it for me. I was like, how can I watch a love scene with him in it knowing that he's, that he likes men in real life? Like, I want to be believable, you know? I'm like that with all kinds of movies and TV shows, you know? If there's... And he's so cute, too. Anthony's so cute in the show. And I still love him. I do. But when it comes to a, a really good love story, I just... It, I can't do it. But I love the book. I love Kate as a... Love prospect. And the book is so much different than the show. In the show, I think he almost ends up marrying her sister. But in the book, it's not like that. I gave this one four out of five stars because I really like this one. And then I get to the third book and I, I'm thinking, oh, finally, it's going to be about Penelope and uh, Colin. No, that's the fourth book. Um, the third book is a, an offer from a gentleman. It's about Benedict's story. He's one of the Bridgerton brothers, second oldest, I think. And it's starting off kind of like Cinderella, which I really like. I love uh, different Cinderella concepts. I haven't gotten far in this one. I'm about 15% um, into it right now. But it's starting off like Cinderella. And I love that. Uh, I love Prospect. Her name is Sophie. Sophia or Sophie. And I'm just wanting to get to the fourth book before the part two comes out on the show. So I need to get some reading in today. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You'll be hearing from me again this week, I promise. But those are all the books that I read for the months of April and May. And just know this was my opinions. You might like the books that I read that I didn't like. Or you might hate the books that I read and loved, you know. So. Love this sticker. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll be talking to you soon.